Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project is going to be removing this TV bracket and box from the wall and sealing the holes up so that we, we can never even tell that this bracket or the box was on the wall before. Now as you can see we took the TV off already. It's just a matter of taking out two screws, lifting it up and off to get it out of the way. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove all of these cables that are inside over here and we're going to get this out of the way. As you can see there's a piece on the wall right here. We're to need to remove also. I did remove one piece already to, uh, to see what it was going to be like coming off. And as you can see, it does do a little bit of damage to the wall itself, but it's no big deal. We're going to fix that, and you'll never even know this TV was here before. All right, so let me show you what you're going to need, and then we're going to get started, get this job done, and wrap it all up. Now, I will mention this to you. Um, make sure you have the paint that you want to paint the wall, because after you spackle it, you're going to need to, to paint the wall as well. All right, so let me show you what we're going to need, and we're going to get started and get this job done. This is an example of what you're going to need. We're going to need spackle. We're going to need a good grade spackle, something that's called a non-shrinking spackle. It's a little more expensive, but believe me, you definitely want to use a non-shrinking spackle because you don't want that hole to show up, uh, you know, a month after you do the repair. All right, we're going to need a couple of these are spackling, spackling knives to actually do the work that we need to do. We may need a Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to need a ratchet with a socket to remove the bracket that's mounted on the wall and maybe a flashlight to see what we're, uh, what we're actually doing in there. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to come up over here and we're going, to, we're going to remove everything that's on here. Now, if you're going to be installing this someplace else, take a picture so you know where all of the plugs connect on to. All right, now we're going to come up here and we're going to unscrew these bolts here, 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 and here. Okay, so uh, once we get that done, we'll come over here and we're going to remove these pieces on the wall here. We're going to slide the spackling knife behind here and we're going to try to minimize the amount of damage that we create when we take this off because these are stuck on there with a self-adhesive. All right, so uh, all right, let's continue. First thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect everything here. We're just using our hand to open the channel up to get the wires out like this. And the way we do that is we come in here, most of the time they're split just like this here, and you put your finger in there and you can usually open it right up, okay? All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove anything that's mounted up here. We're just going to lift this box off the wall for now, just to expose what we have to remove. We'll just put this on the floor for now. Okay, so let's take out this screw and this screw, and we'll get them out of there. We're going to take out two of them all the way out, and we're going to leave two of them partially installed. Okay, we'll take our bracket off. Okay, so now we have the, the hole still in the wall here. We're going to need to address these, but let's take this other bracket here off first. Now, this one's just got Phillips head screws in it, so we're just going to use a regular screwdriver to remove these. So now our brackets are off the wall, and as you can see right here, there's a drywall molly right here. We're going to need to take that out so we can seal that off too. So we'll take the screw that we just took out, and we'll screw it in partially. OK, 
Okay, let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay, screw it in partially, just like this. And then you just grab this here, and you rotate it around, and you pull it. And you pull the molly right out. Okay, now we're going to come in here and we're going to take these holes here and we're going to recess them because if you look at these they're sticking out just a little bit we need to recess these so that they can't be seen underneath the spackling that we're going to do all right and the way you do that is you would grab something that's flat and blunt on the end like this just put it in the hole right let's see if I can get you so you can see like this and you just push and turn at the same time and you see how it dimples it in just like that let's do it again right here same thing here take this put it in there and just rotate it around and push and you see how it dimples it in if it's not far enough just do a little more okay same thing on these here Okay, down here, same thing, so they're ready to have spackle put on them right now, you can see how they dimpled in. Alright, next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this bracket that's glued to the wall here, we're just going to use the spackling knife like this, and we're going to hopefully work it out without taking off much of the paint. But that's what happens when the paint pulls off the uh, uh, sheetrock or spackle that's there now. But we'll take care of that, and you'll never even know it was there. All right, let's continue. Next thing we'll do is we'll take our spackling knife, just slide it in like that. And you put the other one in here, and you slowly pry it away from the wall. Now, there's probably going to be some damage, but we're going to try to do it the best we can. So now we're just going to pull it out a little bit, and we'll keep working it up. A little bit at a time. And now we have it off, but as you can see there is a little bit of damage in here, but we're going to uh, we're going to repair that and you'll never even know it was there. All right, so let's uh, let's get a spackle and let's get started with that. Okay, so now after we dimpled the holes here so that they're recessed as, as far as we want them to, usually it's about an eighth of an inch or so. That's how much the, uh, you want to dimple it. I put some of the spackle onto my utility knife here, and I'm going to use my other spackling tool just to fill in these holes. And the way you do it is you come up on the hole here, and you want to push the spackle into that hole as far as you can. So you put it on and push, and let it push into the hole itself as far as it'll go in, just like that. And then you want to try to make it as smooth as you possibly can using your spackling tools, okay? Wipe away any excess. It'll make it easier to clean it off later on. So now this one is finished. We're going to let this dry thoroughly, and then we'll come in with a wet rag and we'll clean that off so it'll be a perfect surface. Next, we'll come along to the other one here. Same thing. Push the spackle in as far as you can. You want to try to fill up that hole that the screw left inside there. So we're just going to keep pushing it in until it goes in as far as it can. And then you make it as smooth as possible. Now you see we have a little damage right here. We're going to do the same thing. Make it nice and smooth so that you can't even see that it was ever there before. Okay, make it nice and smooth, and then we'll move over and do this one right here. Same exact thing. All right, we're going to continue down the side over here, the damage that's in here as well. Once this dries a little bit, we'll come back. I'll show you how to sand it with a wet rag, and then we'll get this job done, 
and uh, of course we will have to paint it to match the wall itself all right so uh, go get yourself a cup of coffee and uh, stick around we'll finish this off now after the spackle dries on here you're going to get yourself a damp cloth you don't want it too wet you just want it damp and then we're going to come in here and we're going to clean up any kind of rough edges that may be on the spackle that we put on there let me turn you a little bit better here okay all right so you don't want to touch anything in here you just want to clean up the edges right here and make sure that it's perfectly smooth with the existing wall so get yourself a damp cloth and you just continue to go around in circles here until you'll feel through the cloth you'll feel how smooth that area is and then you can just take your hand touch it and you'll feel it's nice and smooth Okay, and we'll do the exact same thing on these areas over here as well. And then once you feel it's smooth enough, then you can come in and you can paint um, the color on the wall itself. Now, if you touch it and you feel still a little bit of a bump inside there or a little bit of an indentation, then at that point you would come back with your spackle again and you would put a second coat on. But in this case, this is nice and smooth. We don't have to worry about it. It's going to be a nice clean cover that you'll never even know that this bracket was here. All right, so once we get these all cleaned up here, we're going to paint it and I'll come back and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. So once we get a coat of paint on this, this project will be finished and we're on to the next one. You'll never be able to even tell that the bracket was ever located on this wall before. Get yourself that non-shrinking spackle I was telling you about because you'll be very happy that you did. You won't wind up finishing the project and a day or two later on or a week later on you'll see that the little dimples are there from where the, shr where the spackle shrunk a little bit and then it's visible. Get the better product and you'll be very happy that you did. Hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. And when you hit the subscribe button, you can turn on notifications to be informed of any future videos that I upload. All right, I hope I was helpful, help, hope I was helpful and able to get you through the project. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.